Welcome to Team Wild's coverage of the 2013 European Field Target Championships, hosted at the magnificent Midlands Game Fair in Western Park, Shropshire. This year, more than 100 shooters have competed from all across Europe, all of them hoping to win the coveted first place position and be crowned 2013 European Champion. Event organisers, the British Field Target Association, are on hand to keep the competition running safe and smoothly so that all participants can have an enjoyable event. For the next two days, we'll be following Team Wild shooter John Costello as he battles his way through the competition to search for that all-important first place position. Fresh from his recent win at 2013 Field Target World Championship, John will be keen to keep his winning streak going and perform well at this tournament. Okay, so here we are at the European Field Target Championships. Um, it's, it's been held at Western Park and it's, the day looks like it's going to be a good one. The crowd's starting to break up, the rain's dying off, so hoping it's going to be uh, some nice weather for the day. It's meant to be a really breezy, wet one tomorrow, so it's going to be make the best of your day today um, and hopefully hold on to a score tomorrow. The competition has attracted many of Europe's finest field target shooters, including 2013 British Field Target Grand Prix champion Andy Kelpin, Rising Welsh star Jack Harris, and 2011 World Field Target champion Conor McFlynn, to name but a few. But in a competition with this many shooters, everyone has a fighting chance to take home the first place trophy. John's off to a great start, but it's far too early in the competition for anyone to be thinking about taking the trophy home with them. Shooter Jack Harris is on form today and holding a good score going into the second half of the course. There are some good scores being made with the shooters. Justin Wood, Dave Penman, Mark Bassett and Conor McFlynn all shooting really well, which is sure to make for a very interesting final day tomorrow. Nearing the end of the first day, John has only two misses, which is bound to put him in a good position for tomorrow. Hopefully, he'll be able to hold on to that score as he reaches the last section of the course. Okay, so we've just finished the uh, first day, um, got the 47, so only missed two, which is I'm, I'm pretty happy with. A couple of misses, couldn't really have done much about, didn't really see where they went to be honest. Um, we've had Jack Harris come on in a one, um, which is some awesome shooting, um, and a couple of guys on threes and twos as well, so it's really, really tight off the first day. Um, it's been really sort of, the wind's been a little tricky, it's only been sort of gusting a little bit, so you've got to guess which edge to go for, which has made it really sort of... Um, more of a mental drain than anything else. Um, tomorrow's going to be an absolute hurricane and uh, matching down, so it's going to be fun tomorrow. Day one results are in, and Jack Harris sits at the top of the leaderboard with a spectacular score of 49. Team Wild's John Costello is in joint second position with Justin Wood, Dave Penman, and Mark Bassett. It's a close top 10 leaderboard, and tomorrow's shooting is sure to be exciting. Day two of the European Field Target Championships. And as John feared, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. Much stronger winds with dark rain clouds gleaming overhead. 
Many of the shooters have set up on the practice range before the day begins to take some shots, check the rifles and try to get a feel for how the wind is going to affect the course. Okay, so day two of the Europeans, um, I was tied second um, until last night, so I'm pretty happy with that with a 47. Jack's out in front with a 49, but to be honest, this is probably the windiest day I've shot in a long time, so it's going to be really interesting to, uh, to see what scores are going in. Um, this morning's session's already been through, yeah, we'll see what we can do today. After a first day score of 47, John has been paired up with shooters Mark Bassett and Lyndon Calvert. Shooting next to them with a score of 49 is point leader Jack Harris, with Justin Wood and Dave Penman snapping at his heels, also with scores of 47. With a score of 46, Conor McFlynn is chasing the leading pack and is definitely a first place contender. The windy conditions are making it much more difficult shooting than the previous day, and the scores are slightly lower than yesterday as the shooters reach the halfway point in the course. Okay, so um, halfway through the course, I've missed four, and um, I know Bertie's missed four. The wind's really weird, it's really strong, but it doesn't seem to be moving much, which is doing my head in a little bit. But um, yeah, we're just about to come into the field, which seems to be the hardest part from what I've heard. So it's going to be a case of dig deep and just you know, grab as many as we can in the next half. With the field being more exposed in the wood section of the course, the wind is having a greater effect, proving very difficult for the shooting. Despite the windy conditions, Jack Harris is still shooting well and holding a good score as he moves through the course. Justin Wood and Conor McFlynn also both have good scores in the difficult conditions. It's looking like these are the ones to watch for the win. With his last two shots, John finishes the course the second day of shooting. Okay, so I just finished the course on a 39. I'm not too happy with it. Made two or three really bad mistakes. That, uh, yeah, definitely should have hit, but you know, that's that's it. That's the game. Um, a couple of big guys. Jack, who was only one yesterday, was last time I heard he was only seven, so he's absolutely monstered, I think. So I think he's, the, he's won the champs this year. Um, we've got another couple of guys who are dead close as well at the top, so no doubt there's going to be quite a few shoot offs, which could be interesting. Um, fingers crossed I'll be in one of them. Yeah, quite happy. I, I shot well. It's just uh, one of those days. I've seen days where the, instead of bouncing off the rim, they would have went in the kill. So I shot quite well. I was quite happy to come in by 41. The yeah, over moon was second place. Um, I've shot well this season and yeah, it's, it's been a great day. Um, very tricky on the wind and the rain. But yeah, I was with Jack and chasing him hard, but I couldn't quite catch him up. Well, today uh, did very well. I missed eight, which um, normally on a normal 50 shot course isn't brilliant, but the conditions today, very windy, raining on the, on the second half of the course, but the wind was atrocious. I think, I think it was only one that beat me today, but all, all around, I'm, I think I'm champ. All that's left is for the trophies to be awarded, with Team Wild's John Costello finishing in a respectable seventh position. We hope you've enjoyed Team Miles' coverage of the 2013 European Field Target Championship. If you'd like to learn more about British field target shooting, visit www.thebfta.net.